I'm Jay McCauley and I'm a debater with Canada and I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, my name is Jacqueline Lee and I'm a debater from Canada, which is who's also from Vancouver, Canada. We don't ride to school on polar bears and we don't live in igloos and we actually don't say A that much. And we don't drink maple syrup with every meal. And we don't live with polar bears and we actually don't say a boo. What about flannel shirts? We like to wear flannel sometimes shirts. Sometimes we wear sometimes. flannel shirts. <laughs> Um, I would say that the best thing about Canada is how like you see a lot of di a lot of different cultures because it is internationally known as a very um, you know diverse. yeah diverse diverse uh, cultural country and um, yeah you just get to meet a lot of people from different countries and it's very nice. I would say another really nice thing about Canada and specifically Vancouver where we're from is that it's really naturally beautiful. Yeah. We have like mountains and beaches all within like. 20 minutes of each other. Yeah, and then like one of the most um, renowned park in the world is actually located in Vancouver. So. Yeah, it's actually in the number one park in the world. It's called Stanley Park. The Czech Republic is really nice. This is my second time in the Czech Republic this year and I love seeing it and seeing all the different things it has to offer. I think the architecture is really especially beautiful and the weather as well. I really enjoyed my time here. I really like the people, um, they're very nice, and the food here is amazing. Um, I mean, like the view, like from everywhere actually is especially beautiful. So we're really like having a great time. The Heart of Europe tournament is a really interesting tournament with a lot of different varying topics and motions, and it's been really fun and a great experience, a learning experience for all of us. This is my first year debating. Heart of Europe is actually my fourth tournament ever, but I've learned a lot by being here, especially as being a newbie. I think I've advanced a lot throughout the tournament. This is my second year. Um, I'm going into grade 10, so I kind of started pretty early on, but um, yeah, this has been probably the best learning experience for a debate I've had thus far, and yeah, it's really helped me expand my, my uh, debate experience. Um, I just debate. I just started debating uh, the last year, and then this is my third tournament ever, and my first international tournament. And so far, um, I've, I've been having a really great time. Met a lot of amazing people, learned many things, and um, looking forward to coming back to Czech Republic uh, next year. I think it's been really cool to meet people from like all around the world because. Um, it's not every day that you get to meet people, say, from all the way from Bermuda to China to even Canada and the U.S. It was a great experience to get to know like where everybody's located, especially through International Friendship Night. We got to see things from every culture, and it was just a great way to learn about everybody. Which motions did you like, and which motions were difficult for you? Uh, our favorite motion probably was the um, this house would continue the usage of pr uh, prism and despite its dis reaction of its disclosure. We thought it was really interesting because it's kind of a forgotten topic in the media, but to see it being brought back into part of Europe where a lot of people can learn about it was really exciting for me, and I just really like the topic in general. I also think that the um, NSA PRISM topic is uh, really both sided, so you can talk about it from either side, and I think that with those that variety in both sides, you really see how good a debater you are. The most difficult motion for us was this house would support, or this house supports assisted suicide for terminally ill minors. Um, we found it really difficult to debate because um, on opposition because it was a really proposition heavy motion and um, it was difficult because uh, you had to debate against like um, like people suffering and that was a difficult thing for us morally. My advice for future Heart of Europe participants is especially if you're like not that experienced to not be scared because when you come in with an open mind you can really assess the situation and see how much you learn and also learn easier or more easy. Easy. <laughs> easier. Learn easier? Easy. Easier. 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 Should I start again? Easily. No, I'm totally leaving that in. <laughs> she means to learn easily. We have proper grammar in Canada. Yeah. Just yeah. by the way. Canada is like the third most liter literate um, <laughs> country in the world. She's just too excited. Um, I would say 
Yeah, Simran and I are very like new to debate. So before we came here, we were like a little nervous about this whole tournament because we um, all have friends or from Canada who are um, all very experienced debaters, and they, I mean, like they said that it was a great uh, experience. But for us, it was still we we're still a little nervous. But then, like since we're now here, and then we've been debating for four days now. Uh, it's just a great experience overall. We've learned many things um, from other experienced debaters. So I would say that to future Heart of Europe uh, uh, contestants, just keep an open mind. Don't worry about that many things. Just come here, learn about the cultural culture. Um, ex like, just enjoy the moment and have fun. My my advice for uh, prospective Heart of Europe participants is, since this is my second international tournament. To not, um, if you are experienced, to um, expect the unexpected or um, be your best for every opponent, no matter what uh, level they're at, because you never know who could win and who could um, not win. Just now, the 16th place team just beat the first place team, so it's an example of how you um, always debate your best. Everything is unexpected, so don't expect anything. See you around, eh?